Hey guys, Jordan Reels back with another video today. Um, we are back in the world of Pokemon po tradition and Pokemon advancement. And uh, yes, this is the new art and the new names for the Wisconsin region because I have gotten multiple complaints about the names Pokemon Loss and Pokemon Victory. Mainly being, I don't want to buy Pokemon Loss because, you know, it doesn't sound like a fun game. <laughs> also, if you do hear, if I do sound nasally or you hear me sniffling, it's because I have a stuffed nose right now and I do not know why, but it, you know, it just, it just happens. So, uh, yeah, this is a new art. I'm very happy with it. And, uh... Yeah, basically, as you could tell from the thumbnail from the thumbnail and title of this video, we are going to basically be doing a fromage form of every type. For those of you who aren't aware, fromage forms are basically my region's a gimmick for, uh, like, they're like Mega Evolution, but the Pokemon don't need to hold anything. So it makes it a little bit more overpowered because they could still have items. So, uh, I guess let's get into it. But first, one more thing I'd like to say, um... I'm not going to be including any of the starter ones, because main well the main reason why I'm not including any of the starter uh, from my farms is because those already cover grass, fire, and water, and I wanted to either make new ones for it, or uh, I already had well actually yeah I wanted to make new ones for each of those types, and to be warned some of them will be reused from existing ones. I'm just. Now I have one of every type, but there is new ones in here, so uh, I guess let's get into it. First, let me get my least favorite design out of the way. This is the one that represents dark type. It's a match form for Melamar, mostly just a color change. I gave it a masquerade mask because, to you know, since it's like such a crazy villain to disguise itself so no one knows its true identity. I gave it a weird little blue mustache and, uh, and mostly just vi gave him different colors, and that's the gist of this one. My least favorite one out of all of them, but I needed one for dark type, and this was... Uh, so yeah, I let's get it out of the way. First liked one we have is uh f is for flying type and is fromage form Altaria. As you can see, it's mostly inspired by rainbows and having clouds at the end of them. I also decided to give it a bit of lightning bolts because when I thought of Altaria, I instantly thought of thunderstorms. Um, but I decided not to go the more thunderstormy route. And to just give it subtle electricity thing bolts in its little head plume things. And give it more rainbow elements to make it fit more like a rainbow. And yes, I do know that I have do not did not add purple to the to the tail part. Um I didn't realize that until I was adding color, but I at that point I was like, too bad, too late. Let's keep going with it. So yeah, the purple is only on the antenna parts. So you guys remember Peltike and Infernagro, both really good mons in my region based on aggro pelters, matchboxes, and just magic fire in general. Um, yeah, their old fromage form stinks, so I made a new one. And here it is, it's basically, a, it's more aggro pelter design, I, uh, gains more of the original elements, uh, and gets more of like a shaman vibe. And this one's actually fairy type to fit with the entire point of Infernagro's or magic fire healer shaman things. So this one's a, lit a shaman. The fire on its head got bigger and there's yellow in it because it's a reference to uh, when characters in anime go super saiyan, their hair turns yellow and gets humongous. So uh, I wanted to reference that a bit because that's fun. I gave it more markings on its arm to look cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little face I put in the fire, and that's basically just like, he's a shaman conjuring up the spirits. Ah. Next up is poison type, and representing that is the Betrunk and Fromage form. This is one that's existed before, but I guess I'll still go over it for those of you guys who haven't seen it. It's poison normal type, and uh, it's basically just a drunk man with a large vomit, green vomit beard carrying around a bunch of beer mugs because well, you can't have Wisconsin without its bars. Next up is for fighting type, and this one's Jockstar. For Miles Jockstar, the counterpart to uh, to Bet Runkin. This one also has existed before, but I'll still go over it. The hands and feet are inspired by footballs because the entire thing is it's based on a on a Green Bay on the Green on the team Green Bay Packers, which won some of the very first Super Bowl games here in America. I guess to incorporate the electric type more, I give it more blue electric veins all over its skin. 
I gave it a touchdown goal, which is also a combination of Tesla coils, which uh, spout, spouts out of its back, which I think was a very clever idea, that it could also aim like a railgun, like Vikavolt. Next up is for Psychic Type, and this one is from Oz Farm of Fromage. It, uh, this one's also existed before, but I don't think I've ever covered it in an actual video. I, now that I'm thinking back, I probably did in the last Fromage Farm video, but I'll still cover it here. The entire gist is that it's a joke on fromage, which is French for cheese. Um, it's a fromage. It's a cheese wizard. But it's fromage form. It turns its cheese that was on its staff before into a crystal ball that it can use to manif manifest its power more. This one is Dragon, and it's the fromage flygon, which I think I've shown in a previous video also. The gist is that he's using more aura, because I've imagined Dragon type to be... Aura, either a looming, either a looming presence, aura, or just like serpents. So I guess this works in both ways. This is actually one of the new ones that we have. It's my fromage scolipede because the last one I made was ugly because it was just a scolipede with bird wings as antenna. This one I took more inspiration from bundled up coats. I gave it fire aspects. I gave it a little fire collar, more fire elements and design color coloration wise and uh just in general way better than the older one um yeah this is oh this represents bug type in case if i didn't say it because and i have bad memory so i don't remember if i did say it or not next up is for normal type it's the fromage porygon z this one uh i think i've also already mentioned or maybe not i honestly don't remember when but uh the gist is it's a porygon z that's basically glitched out and became a computer virus more um and that's what the dragon type represents i guess is like a looming power or like a crazy you know like aura i guess i guess that also works next up for electric type we have fromage electrode which i know for sure i have used before because that was in the thumbnail of my last one this one is basically i gave it the fire type because now it's got a fuse which makes it more bomb like in my opinion and i gave it a little flame hand at the end of it uh, and yes, this is the Ace of the Ground type gym leader. Next up is Fromage Satitan for Ice type. Still pure ice, and uh, basically I gave it the center horn longer, gave it more ice colored elements on its body, and uh, I did make its tail bigger. Main reason why I did this one is because one, I need an ice type, two, at the time of making this specific one, Satitan was like one of the newest things, and why not? Next up is water type, and this one is my fromage form for Pukamuku, which you guys have seen before. But this one, I uh, chose to remake it, mainly because I took a lot of inspiration from other stuff on the internet. And, um, well, for the other one, at least. So I was like, eh, you know what, let's change it up a bit to make it more original. This one, it's a normal Pukamuku, but he basically can now uh, control the water to his will and makes fists to help fight it. And now the, the white that's on the thing could be considered his guts, since Pukamuku's all about that. But also, could be sea foam, I guess, to, a way to interpret it. Next up is ground type, and this one we have from Ash Farm for Doug Trio. The entire point of this one is that it popped out from under, from the ground, and, um, but there's still ground stuck on it. And, um... Yeah, it became fighting type because now it's got limbs that it can attack you with. And this is, I guess, my best interpretation of what's underneath the ground of a diglet. I do have a kind of a... This is, yeah, so it just kind of like pops out of the ground. Just go poof, and then uh, attacks it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the whole gist of this one. Remember my Mon, Ham, Frogger, and Amphiburger? Well, I gave him a slight redesign and a slight retyping. Ham, Frogger, and Amphiburger, instead of being pure normal type, it's a uh, fairy and fairy poison. Decided to make it also poison dart frog inspired to make it where it tricks its enemies into, since it looks like a burger, to poison its enemies with its poisonous secreted skin. Now I give you context for that. For fairy type from us, from we have Fromage Amphiburger. It's inspired by Big Macs, um, and just bigger frogs. Another reason why it's a uh, fairy, main, forgot to mention, the main reason why it's fairy type is because uh, 
the other food moms that I can think of off the top of my head, like Milk Three, Al Creamy, uh, Comfy, well not Comfy, but other food moms are fairy type, and you are probably be like, well what about a Lola Raichu? That one's psychic type because lore, and that just makes sense. This one, uh, yeah, it's fairy type because food, and also I needed a fairy type for Mash Farm. Next up for Steel type is Fromage Farm of Steelix. This one, as were many other Steel types in the Wisconsin region, created by Dairy Co., an organization focused on making sure that the economy stays in shape by basically using animals to make products out of their will, or I guess not animals, Pokemon, to, uh, to use for mon for monetary gain. In this design specifically, um, I did make it not only just a more robotic Steelix, but I also did make it where you're able to ride on top of it. You see, I made, there's like a little seat right there. I made its antennas like a little, like, what's the word? Rope, uh, levers, levers. And then there's like a little foot pedal in case you want to put your feet there. And uh, yeah. This will also show up in a future video where I'm, it's an updated uh, Dairy Co. based video. Next is for ghost type and we have Fromage Spiritum. This is mostly for, based on lore, but the idea is, for those of you who don't know, Spiritum is 107 spirits trapped in a little rock thing. Maybe, uh, I don't know for sure. Editor me will put it on the screen. Uh, but yeah, 107 spirits that are entrapped in a little rock. My, this idea is that it, uh, one too many spirits entered the little rock thing, and now it has basically destroyed the rock and gained full control. Next up is for rock type, and it's Fromage Golem. This one is uh, gains the ghost typing instead of ground because... The idea that I had was it's, um, since Geodude is Geodude slash Geo, I had the idea of technically he could be a Geode, but we don't know it yet because that's on the inside. So this form, they crack him open, they see the crystals, but now his soul has basically gained soul taken over. He's got a new crystal mustache, crystal arm over there, crystal there, his... Legs are there. Also, I guess it's based on phantom limbs because he's got a phantom arm now. And, uh, yeah. Last up is Fromage Form for Go Goat, which represents grass type. This one gains the normal type, and, um, mainly because it's partially sound based. I gave it, uh, I made it by bipe bipedal as one of the main changes. I gave it a horn, which is actually a go goat, uh, go some sort of goat horn. I made its horns more pan flute style and um, made it stand on its two legs while uh, make giving it leaves like a beard but also like around its crotch area. You know, like a loincloth because it was partially inspired by uh, ancient Greek warriors. Main reason why is because that we're reading the Odyssey in school and uh, that stuff is interesting. And, um,. Yeah, and I guess it's like dramatic, like, go into war, fight, ah! And that's it for Pokemon Tradition and Pokemon Advancement today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys like the new title, and, um, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the future.